If you want to smell rich, go get Creative Venses. But if you want to smell wealthy without even trying, keep watching this video. Hi, my name is Lalo and you're watching Disney Channel. If you want to smell wealthy without even trying, elegant, clean, fresh, today we're going to be unboxing none other than Creed Silver Mountain Water. Beautiful box, by the way. They did a great job. So I originally had no intention of purchasing a Creed fragrance just because they're really expensive. A 100 milliliter bottle runs you about $470 retail here in Los Angeles, California. If you live elsewhere, it might be cheaper, probably will be cheaper. A 100 millimeter bottle will run you after after tax about $500. The day I was buying Pegasus, if you haven't seen my last fragrance video, I posted about it. I absolutely love it. You guys should go check it out. Right before that, I want to go try out the Creed fragrances. Oh, look at that right in the opening. I just wanted to try all of them out because the only one I've ever tried before was Aventus. The thing I don't like about Aventus is that it's starting to become the new Dior Sauvage in the niche world. As in, everybody has it. And honestly, I ain't trying to smell like, you know, your little cousin who thinks he smells like the Wolf of Wall Street. I'm just not. At the end of the day, it's an amazing fragrance. People love it. But, you know, if you know anything about Creed, you know, you probably heard that the batches are getting weaker and weaker. So they're not lasting as long or they're not even smelling the exact same way because of how popular they are. And, ooh. And I went to the mall and I sprayed this on my sweater. So I, I liked it. I sprayed it on my sweater. And I was like, oh, it's cool. And then the next day, I picked up my sweater. And I'm like, oh, that smells really good. I'm like, oh, wow, that smells really nice. And I'm like, what is it? And I couldn't put my finger on it. Because all I was remembering that day was all the parfums that Marley that I was smelling. But I'm like, Oh yeah, I was at Neiman Marcus. I sprayed this. This is the only Creed I sprayed on myself. Because I didn't really like all the other ones. And then Aventus, I already smelt. So I sprayed it, finally, and I was able to remember it. And I absolutely loved it. Like, it's just so clean and fresh and elegant. Wow. Look at this. Creed Silver Mountain Water. Just a beautiful bottle. Elegant. Oh, oh wow, that's nice. Before I bought the bottle, I actually got a sample of it. The way people would describe it is rich. Like, this literally smells rich in a bottle. Which, you know, shouldn't be a surprise considering that this is a $500 bottle. Like, you could smell the quality on this. Like, this is just amazing. This is going to be my new summer fragrance every day. I wear this in the fall, the summer. I wouldn't really wear this in the cold, but it won't be overpowering if you do wear it in the cold. I personally still like to put it on my clothes, I, even if I'm not going to go out. Even when I'm doing simple stuff like just getting groceries, like, like this is just nice to have on and people will compliment you. People have stopped me at the grocery store at Trader Joe's and just went, wow, that's a very nice scent. What are you wearing? And I said, <laughs> it's great. Like, you will get stopped like it's just a really nice fragrance like people really like this and ask me like why do you spend so much on fragrances and you know I'm sure everybody has a different reason but I walk out of the house with confidence knowing that I'm probably gonna be the best smelling man in the room or out in general probably more like almost every time but it's not gonna solve all your self-esteem issues but you know, it's gonna be a big plus. Before you get into niche fragrances, I wanna warn you guys that as soon as you start getting into niche fragrances, you're not gonna wanna go back to designer. Like this just smells 10 times better than any designer fragrance that I have. There's still a few that I still wear. My Prada La Home, like, if you want me to do a video on my top three fragrances under $100, like this is still a good one. There's a few good ones from the Replica line. Uh, my Burberry Hero, there's still a couple that I still really like, but you know, I don't really wear my Blue de Chanel or my Saint Laurent anymore, but there's still a few ones. Prada, if you guys want to sponsor me, send me some stuff, or like, I don't want to work together, you know, hit my line. And another reason why I like to wear expensive cologne is, and someone told me this when I was younger, it's better to smell like Gucci than to dress in Gucci. The same way anybody would rather get into a Honda Civic that's working well and smells clean and fresh, rather than a Range Rover that's falling apart and smells like old McDonald's like no one wants that so before you go and buy some expensive clothes you know obviously get nice clothes get the basics 
But when you're starting to um, spend more money on stuff, I do recommend you start spending on the fragrances first before you start getting your Gucci shoes and your Louis Vuitton wallet. It's just me personally. Like this smells like you have your life together. Even though I'm sure you still have those empty water bottles next to your bed. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm not going to try to bash on Creed Aventis. Creed Aventis is still an amazing fragrance. But I heard um, Mont Blanc Explorer kind of s smells like it. I've heard some people who wear it get asked if they're wearing Mont Blanc Explorer. I just feel like too many people wear Creed Aventis. I'm not going to lie. It smells nice every time I smell it. But if you don't mind smelling alike like other people, go for it. A lot of people still wear the Blue de Chanel's, the Dior Sauvage. Like, they're still good fragrances, but, you know, chances are if you're a guy, you're gonna smell like her ex or her dad. And, honestly, I'm not trying to do that. What girl honestly wants their man to smell like their dad, you know? And this is a unisex fragrance. A lot of people consider this a men's cologne, but a lot of girls actually wear this. But if you're in the market and you have the budget for it, Silver Mountain Water is a great option. This is just... One, a beautiful bottle, and I'm a sucker for a nice bottle, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, even if it wasn't in a nice bottle, this is still really nice. It smells amazing. It gets the compliment. But you shouldn't buy a fragrance just because you know you're gonna get a lot of compliments. Wear what you like. Going back to Miami, and I'm definitely gonna be taking this bottle with me. This isn't your typical fresh fragrance. This is very unique. There isn't a fragrance that I've smelled that smells like this, that I know of yet. But I do know that Creed Aventis has been cloned a lot. There's a lot of clones out there. And so there's a lot of alternatives to it. Another thing is it doesn't last very long on a lot of people. I don't know why. But on me, I'm not going to lie. All the Creed fragrances last a while for me. I don't know why. I guess I'm just perfect. I guess I'm just expensive. And that's why we got to go get rich. I got to go get rich so I could keep smelling like this. Like always, if you have any recommendations for me, let me know down below. That being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.